More Iranian-made fast attack craft are in the Western Hemisphere, as Venezuela takes possession of a new batch of PICOP-3 class missile boats. Video of the boats being operated by Venezuelan sailors showed up on social media recently. Maritime analysts say Iran sent a batch of four PICOPs to Venezuela last year as well. PICOP class boats are also called Zulfikar in Iran and were originally designed in North Korea. PICOPs come in three basic variations. PICOP 1s are armed with torpedoes, 2s can carry two anti-ship missiles, and PICOP 3s are equipped to carry both. Of course, machine guns are also a common sight on the boats as well. PICOP 3s can launch COSAR and NACER anti-ship missiles. The COSARs have a range of about 12 miles. NACERs are effective out to about 21 miles. Precision-guided missiles launched from fast attack craft, as all a dictator like Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro would need to disrupt commercial shipping. A PICOP craft is just under 60 feet long and is powered by twin diesel engines. It can hit speeds over 50 knots, or about 57 miles per hour. Venezuela took possession of the new fast attack craft just a few months after the country held a referendum to annex a region in neighboring Guyana known as Esquibo. It's a very rural area, hard to access and covered in thick rainforests. It also holds vast deposits of oil and rare earth minerals. When Maduro announced the referendum to seize Esquibo had passed, the international backlash was swift. And it was enough to make Maduro back down. Or maybe not. Satellite images show Venezuela never stopped improving its access points along the Cuyuni River that separates the two countries. The improvement projects included building new boat ramps and clearing jungle to create staging areas. Venezuelan troops also continue to train near the river crossings, so an additional batch of new missile boats isn't exactly a calming thought for Guyana. The country's military is not as strong as Venezuela's, which has arguably the most capable military in South America. However, Guyana and the United States are partners and hold joint military exercise on a regular basis, something Maduro is likely considering while he debates whether to invade a sovereign nation. The Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines said he's close to the leaders of both Guyana and Venezuela, and he's working to broker a lasting peace between the two. It's stable, you still have differences, but the important thing is to have peace and to talk and not to fight. They should do that in Ukraine. They should do that in Gaza.